Hello, friends, and welcome back to KTB Creates. And if you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm excited because in this video, I am going to be sharing some fun, budget friendly thrift store revamps. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the projects. Okay, so for this first project, I was so excited when I saw this in the thrift store. Thrifting is one of my favorite things to do because you can find so many cool things, uh, really, really cheap, sometimes even brand new. And that was the case with this piece. So this was just a canvas um, that it actually, uh, the wording on the back, it came from um, Snapfish. But it it had this really thick wood frame. So I was so excited when I found this because I thought, oh my God, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. So all I did here was obviously I went in and I removed the whole canvas off of it. So that's all I'm doing here is, is um, kind of taking that all apart. I didn't go through the trouble of removing the staples because um, we're going to do a reverse canvas here. So you're not going to see any of that. So it's really not necessary. But look at the size of that frame. It was about one and a half inches thick um, all the way around. It was beautiful. I was so excited. So, of course, because you, those of you that know me, know that I love my antique uh, Waverly wax. And that is what I'm going to use here to go ahead and stain that wood. I, again, it was a nice wood and I wanted to just bring out some of that grain and just warm it up a little bit. So I am going to apply a nice even coat with my antique wax and then I'm just going to wipe off the excess with a wet wipe. So once that's dry, it's time to go ahead and add the canvas back to the wood piece. Now I am going to use the flip side, obviously, of the print where it has that nice, beautiful, um, natural canvas texture to it. It's just very pretty. So all I'm doing is I'm going to uh, staple the canvas right onto the back of the frame with my um, staple gun. All my tools and things that I like to use in the video are going to be linked in my Amazon store in the description box below. So check that out if there's anything that you see that you think will help with your crafting. Um, but make sure you're pulling this canvas nice and taut so that it's nice and tight when um, we're going to flip it over and, you know, add our decorations to it. Then obviously all you have to do is trim off all of that excess canvas with a nice sharp um, exacto knife or a razor blade of some sort and you're just going to cut that right off and remove that. So I have this sign here for quite a while. It was from the Target dollar spot I think last year uh, and I never used it. So I thought it was the perfect um, piece to go ahead and use that. So I'm just kind of deciding how I wanted to position it on my canvas. And my idea here was I really love those prints that you see with that really natural looking like vine or leaf, I, I guess, grapevine type of a wreath. Um, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green, my greenery, uh, and then I'm going to twist it with some of these pit berries that I did get at the Dollar Tree around Christmas time. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of intertwine them and twist them, uh, you know, not, not making them too neat because I do want it to look uh, a little more rustic and undone, if that makes sense. Uh, so again, this greenery is fabulous. I use it for all, so many things. I found this at Walmart. However, I do have it linked in my Amazon store. Uh, if you can't find that at your Walmart. Um, you can pick some up on Amazon as well. And then I'm just going to kind of position it into, uh, like I said, some sort of a wreath form, not not making it too perfect. I want it to look 
um, like I said, rustic. And then I'm just going to apply some hot glue in a few spots throughout the wreath. Again, I don't want it to be completely glued down. I want it to look a little bit unnatural. So I'm really just applying really small dots all around uh, the wreath. And then for the little home, home sign that I found at Target, um, it was, you know, this really cool galvanized metal. And I love galvanized metal, but it didn't show up enough against the canvas piece, I felt. Uh, so I wanted to just um, antique it a little bit. So I'm just adding, I'm just really pouncing on some antique Waverly wax all around it just to, I guess, dull it up a little bit and uh, make it stand out a little bit more within my sign. And then we are all set to glue it right to the sign. Uh, I am gluing it right to all of that greenery. And it works out and fits in there perfectly. Uh, and I just love the way that this came. Uh, so you guys have to let me know what you think. I am doing four different projects here today. So let me know which one is your favorite down below. If you know me, you know that I love to um, finish off my pieces and make sure it looks all pretty on the back as well. So that's all I am doing here is applying my craft paper to the back. and then. We are all finished with our project, so let's go ahead and take a look at the finished result. So let's talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives just like you and I. They have a library filled with thousands of inspiring classes in all sorts of things like photography, video, design, illustration, and so many more. What I love about Skillshare is that most classes are under an hour, so you can easily fit them into your schedule and skill level. The best thing is, is that the classes are specific to learning, so there are absolutely no ads, and they're always launching new classes. So you can get an annual subscription at less than $10 a month. Skillshare has a special offer for you today, so the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box, we'll get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Be sure to check it out today. So for this next little project, I found this adorable little sign. It's so old and rusty. I paid, I think, about 50 cents for it. So, of course, we're going to take some paint and give it some new life. So I am using uh, Silver Lining here by Waverly. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good um, two coats of this on the front and back, of course, just to finish everything off. And we're just going to use this as a little cute little decorative piece. I like to hang stuff on a gallery wall I have in my dining room, or you can um, actually use it for a tiered tray if you want to do something like that. But I found this little saying on Pinterest, and I cut it out with my Cricut, and it says, please excuse the mess, but I craft here. And that is literally the story of my life because I craft in my dining room. So it's perfect. <laughs> and then just to finish it off a little bit, I decided to go ahead and add some wooden beads to the top of it just to give it a little bit more of a decorative look. Uh, so all I did there was I added on a few beads and then I tied off the ends and just twisted them so obviously the beads will stay put. And then all I did to secure that to the little sign is I just hot glued it um, into the little ridge on the back of the, the tray. So this is just a cool idea because I think it's something so simple that anybody can do, even with some Dollar Tree stickers and letters and things like that. And, you know, just like have your mind open when you go into a thrift store. There, is, there are so many cute little projects and things that you can come up with 
with such inexpensive pieces. So here is what it looks like uh, on my gallery wall, and I just love it. I love the little saying, and I think it adds a really cute, uh, perfect touch to my dining room decor. So for this project, I'm just going to make a simple little um, centerpiece that you can use all year. I found this little basket. It was $1.99 at the, the thrift store, and it's in perfect condition. I loved it as is. So all I'm going to do here is I am just tracing out some foam board to add to the bottom of it because we're going to add some candles and some decor on it. So I want it to be a little bit more of a sturdy base. So we're going to go ahead and use that um, foam board for that. So you're just going to cut that out with a nice sharp razor blade. And then we're going to go ahead and cover that with some burlap fabric. Okay, so follow me here on this because I went a little overboard on this. So it's probably not necessary for you to do the same. But I cut out a piece of burlap and I applied it um, specifically to the shape of the bottom cutout. Uh, and then I realized that you can see like the sides of the foam board. So then I just went ahead over it and I cut out another piece of burlap and I folded that over the edges. Uh, so you, you probably, it's not necessary to do the, the, uh, first step, but I did want to let you know <laughs> that that's what I did. Uh, so I'm just going to simply overlap that burlap onto the foam board with some hot glue and um, seal it all together. Okay, so now we're ready to um, start putting everything together. So if you're a crafter, you understand the idea of saving absolutely everything. And these are those little pots that the Dollar Tree succulents come in. I always save them because they come in handy for all kinds of projects. So we're just going to hot glue them upside down to the bottom and to glue them right to the um, bottom of the foam board there uh, because we needed a little bit of a, a riser within uh, to do to put everything together and do what we're going to do next. Uh, I then did decide that I wanted to go ahead and add some burlap into the little basket uh, just to decorate it a little bit more. So I cut out a nice big piece to that and then added the foam board inside of that. And then to secure that, I'm just going to kind of pleat it in different spots and hot glue it right to the side of the wire basket. So all in that same trip to that thrift store, I found these three little vases that were identical and they had like a raised um, kind of detail around the bottom of it. So I'd like to just bring that out a little bit. So I just took some linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and I am just kind of brushing it on really lightly, not going for full coverage here, uh, just to bring out that detail on the vases. And then I did grab three of these taper LED candles from the Dollar Tree. These candles are so cool. Uh, they have the little tea lights as well, um, but they are so cool to use in projects. So I'll show you how they work in a little bit. But for now, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to stick some floral foam in each of the faces. And I did add hot glue to the bottom of it. So they kind of stay put somewhat. And then we're going to try and attach these. Uh, candles. So I'm showing you here, sorry for the, the frame is kind of blurry, but there's a little rubber piece on the bottom of the candle. So you can easily remove the candle from that rubber piece to insert the batteries into the candle. So because I wanted to give them some more height, I am using some skewers and I'm just going to glue them to the bottom of the candles to stick into the floral foam. So hopefully that makes sense and you see what I'm doing here and showing you how I went about doing that. And then I added some um, Spanish moss around the bottom of the candle just to give it a little bit more uh, security. And I'm going to do that for all three of them, but I am varying the height with the middle one and making that a bit taller than the two on the sides. And again, just adding that Spanish moss 
around the candle. Now we're all set to go ahead and uh, glue these right onto our little risers there. So I'm just using hot glue. If you want more of a permanent hold, I would suggest some E6000 with this as well. Um, but really, it holds it really well. Um, you want to apply a nice, good, um, be very generous with your hot glue. And I just attach those right to those little risers. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill most of the basket with some just some plastic bags that I have um, that I collect that are laying around uh, and then I'm going to add my Spanish moss on top of that um, just to make it look a little bit more finished and pretty and I am loving the way this is coming out it's nice because you could then add like floral pieces and things like that to decorate like for each season so you could add pumpkins or eggs or um, I don't know carrots uh, Christmas picks and things like that. So you could definitely change it out uh, throughout the year to match your season or your decor. So add a green heart emoji to your comment in the uh, in the comment section. If you're anything like me and you just uh, you know you finish a project and you just feel like it just needs something one little more one little added detail um, so that's all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add um, some Dollar Tree ribbon to the little vases just to decorate it a little bit and add a cute little bow and here is the finished look I really really love the way this turned out like I said you could change it up for the seasons uh, but let me know what you think below This last one is super simple and easy. I found this at the thrift store. It was originally from Hobby Lobby. I think I paid a dollar for it, uh, but isn't this gorgeous? It's a beautiful cross. I love that beaded design that it has in there. And honestly, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm not gonna paint it or anything. I love the wood grain. I love the wood. All I'm doing is wiping it down with a little bit of alcohol and a wipe. And I just decided to go in with my Cricut and make a nice little saying for it and just apply that to it. Uh, you could do the same with some rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree or add, you know, you could even do some hand lettering on it or just add some nice detail. But I absolutely love this cross. I thought it was so beautiful. So I just added the wording Amazing Grace and... I am just thrilled with the way it turned out. So um, here, here it is, uh, me showing you how to apply that lettering and then the finished result. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today. If you wouldn't mind, let me know which one is your favorite down in the description box below. Like I said, leave that green heart emoji if you're like me and you finish your project and you feel like it just needs one more added thing. Um, I'm always doing that with my projects. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Don't forget to check me out on social media. I love to share things over there as well. You can also private message me on Instagram and chat. So have a wonderful week. I will see you all very soon.